great in the morning. Let me uh, grab some cards here and see what we have for the uh, morning tip. see what the message of the morning is. Yep. Okay, first card out is Enid. She who doubts, fear, weariness, trust. The fate. but not least faith faith okay so you know we all have a framework we come in dealing with I like this one we've got the stars there okay but you know you gotta have faith faith will move mountains you know where they say if you have the faith of a grain of mustard seed and uh, you put it out there you can move mountains well you have if you somebody that's out here she who doubts you know you just keep blocking yourself you'll block yourself uh, if you're always looking for what's going wrong instead of what's going right You'll just continue to pull down your energy, pull down your power, pull down everything, okay? Yes, there are some things that we come in with. Um, I know when I had my reading from Hogarth, I was very surprised at um, what he was able to glean. And that's what I wanted to see, because I don't know anything about astrology, but his <clears throat> reading was extremely accurate on um, things that I came in with dealing with you know so there are certain things we come in here lessons to learn things to deal with to to make us stronger or to experience and to um, come to understand okay but uh, you know we're all going to have some some points of difficulty in our life. Uh, I think some of us have our difficulty more in the beginning and then some of us have an easy going time in the beginning and we have our hard lessons later in life. Okay, um, But all of us are going to deal with the fate in some way, shape or form. Okay, You just got to have faith that you can get through it Okay, day by day, I'm not saying it's going to make it easy breezy. It's not easy breezy when you are, you know, really having a difficult time when you, you know, I, I've been times and, and I've used my own life all, all the time for, um, you know, just to, as an example, you know, I've been before homeless. I've been before, you know, very little money, scrounging to put food on the table. Um, many Christmases, my daughter, we had nothing, 
you know, I'd find a little branch and we'd put it up like a tree. I mean, literally. <laughs> One year I know I went to uh, the secondhand store and bought her a secondhand teddy bear. I mean, you know, just secondhand stuff. I couldn't afford anything. We were lucky we had food on the table. Many times I had to go to a food bank, you know. Um, there are times in your life where you just have real difficult things to deal with. Um, illness or, you know, you have a breakup or, you know, any of those things um, can be difficult. But it, if with faith, with faith, you know, you can get through it. Sometimes you just have to take it one breath at a time and you think you'll never get through it, but you will. Things are going to change. Um, I know it seems easy for me to say that now that I finally got my house and, you know, um, things are going better, you know, but even now I still have things I'm dealing with. Um, you know, uh, as far as uh, health concerns. I've got a number of things going at once. Oh, and somebody was asking me when me to sing Imagine. I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I've got that, I don't know if you can see, well, it's not showing up here, but I've got a lump here in my uh, throat area. As you can hear, my voice is very gravelly today. Um, so they will be uh, looking at that finally January 7th. I go to get an ultrasound, um, find out what's going on. So, you know, <laughs> dealing with the tumor, dealing with is still this, this thing, the, the exhaustion, the, the, a growth here, you know, a lot of stuff is going on um, behind the scenes here that I'm dealing with um, as well. <laughs> but you know it's same like anything this too will pass you know at my age at 70 the body starts breaking down that's the way it is you know and and you deal with it you do it step by step like everything else you know um but would it do any good to be in fear to be in worry about it okay it, it's not going to benefit anything, okay? You just make yourself feel more miserable for whatever it is you're going through, you know? And so, you know, again, sometimes you think the stars, everything is against you. <laughs> but what I see when I was looking at what he was telling me, it looked like there's a, like a framework that you work within doesn't mean a lot of things cannot be changed in that framework, okay? Um, so the fates are not that, oh, this is absolutely going to take place, and you can make it either better or you can make it worse, depending on your attitude about it. If you have faith that all things work together for good, isn't that what the Bible says? All things work together for good for those that love Christ, if you know, if you have your faith or you love God, okay, you love uh, humanity, you love the earth, if, if you have faith in those things, all things will work together for good. Even though we don't see it at the time, even the hard things we go through, we learn a lesson from, okay, we learn something from it. When, and sometimes it takes a bit of distance, it takes a bit of time to be able to, to see what we get out of that, okay? Um, when you're going through it, you're, not, you're, you're too close to it, you don't see. But later, objectively, you can look at it and you can see uh, what the lesson or the experience has brought to the table that you learn from. Okay, so again, yeah, not, all, not all things that we learn and we experience are going to be fun. They're not, um, some things are really difficult. Um, but again, we can learn something beneficial from it, okay? Uh, 
um, so just you know hang in there have faith have faith that things are going to work for the best and you know I always say the same thing that uh, I was surprised that Hogarth said this and, and was very happy to hear it uh, when I pray I always pray and I tell people to pray for the best outcome for the situation at hand may the best take place that's possible may the best take place that's possible for the situation at hand and sometimes we do not always know what's the best okay so you may be praying for something and you want it a specific way okay but we have to trust that the universe you know wants the best for humanity and many times that means that humanity is the one that's throwing the wrench in the works if we would just get the ego out of the way and uh, things then then again you know and you pray for the best and you get out of the way it will have a chance to manifest and um, do the best for us that's possible okay um, so that's the the uh, the pointing of the day okay that's the pointing of the day uh, you know have faith pray for the best if it's a difficult time, this too will pass, okay? Um, and things will get better, okay? It just sometimes takes time. And sometimes through these difficult times, we build up resilience, okay? We build up resilience. We get um, stronger. We find out that we're not as weak as we thought we were. Um, you can build up resilience and um, yeah you're tougher than you know you are <laughs> okay stronger than you know you are okay so let's continue to go forward and we'll just walk it step by step and do the best that we can that's all we can do is the best that we can do okay and then we have to let go of the outcome and, you know, try not to have to micromanage everything. Oh. So today is the, um, today they're supposed to do the electoral college. So we'll see what happens with that. So I'm going to leave this here, love and light to everyone. Please continue to mask up out there. Let's continue to be safe, as safe as we can in the current situation. Okay? So love and light to everyone. We'll see you online.